Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This is a healing message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start off by picking an area that needs healing. So we're going to try to concentrate the message a little uh, closer into a certain area that needs healing for you. Okay, Gemini? What needs healing for Gemini? Sadness. Okay. Uh, it looks like this is what you all are having the most issue with right now. Uh, not being able to forget something that is um, not going well. It keeps putting you back in a space where you feel like you're not on the right track or you doubt the decisions you made. For some of you, it could actually get you to um, replay or redo a uh, lesson because the sadness makes you think you didn't get it right. Okay, so we're talking about self-fulfilling prophecies. There are certain things you have to let go of. Certain things that's happened in the past that needs to be, uh, you need to forgive and release. Uh, Gemini, this is causing a blockage for you right now. This needs to be healed, okay? All right, so let's get started here. Okay, I'm using Templar Tarot here, the journey. Please give me a message, healing message for Gemini. All right, this means you need to start doing things brand new. The fool is here. You need to be doing things in a whole different way. Leave the past behind. It's time to start taking steps. Leave those broken bricks in the past. Let them go. Everything moving forward should be done in a new way. So many of you, you're going to have to take a leap of faith here. You're going to have to trust. Okay, we have a few other cards. Yes. Page of stakes. So this is about taking action in a new way. This can bring good news. So you need to be uh, optimistic and enthusiastic uh, with this sadness energy. The fact that they have these two cards, there's another one beneath this, but these two cards let me know. You need to be more in a positive mood. It's like get up and go here. They both have on the similar colors, similar type of clothes. It's uh, one that brings vibrancy, brings uh Positive vibrations, basically. Movement. Not sitting still. It's time to go. All right. Yep. Yeah. Some of you guys are staying stuck in something. This is a mental... Like, it's a mental um, hold back, I guess you could say. Eight of Swords here. Stuck in your own thoughts. This is what this is. I'm going to keep going, actually. Eight of Swords is one of those uh, that only you can get over. Like, no one else can help you get over that. It has to be uh, your, your choice. You have to choose to say, I'm going to get out of this state. This here. I'm going to choose to stop remembering those things. I'm going to choose to stop bringing up those things. I'm going to choose to stop sitting down and thinking about those things because it's going to put me in this mood. Uh, some of you put yourself in this mood because you stay in this state. You choose to think about things or you choose not to let things go. Or you just choose to see things in a certain way that... Um, that's not in your best interest. Because what's in your best interest is to do things in a different way, a whole new way, a brand new way. All right, tell me more, Eight of Swords. Told you. This is what's gonna help you right now, the full energy. If you're still trying to do things the way you've always done it, you're going to be stuck. This is choice. 
when you pick up this energy here, it's like saying, you know what, right now I want to be free. I want to just start all over. I'm just going to just go do what feels good. Okay, because it's like I need a new start. The way I've been doing it, it just ain't working. I am uh, going to just start all over again. Okay, I'm going to take some chances. Things I probably would never have done. I'm just going to go do it. Uh, you know, try a new path. Try something new. I'm going to change my wardrobe. It's just... um. This here, uh, this energy. Whenever someone's here, you got to give them time. You know, trying to get someone out of this is... Uh, it's going to use a lot of your energy. And then not only that, it's not really going to, uh, it's not going to go far. If a person choose to stay in a certain vibration, certain mindset, certain situation, you can't get them out of it until they're ready. So once they're ready to pick up the full energy, that's when. So if, um, if you're here, you need to make that choice to get out of it. Okay, that sadness it stems from holding on to certain things that really is not serving within your highest interests, okay? If you're trying to get to that place, 10 of staves, um, you know, those things in the past that was heavy, embrace them and say, you know, I learned from you and then put it down. Put it down. You appreciate the lesson. Thank you for the lesson. You too heavy for my path forward. I'm about to start doing brand new things in a new way. Therefore, I only can take one, one stave. I can't take all of you. So thank you for the lesson. You know, not all of you. Your lessons were great. I didn't enjoy all of them, but I appreciate it because I learned from it. And guess what? I'm about to start brand new and everything I do is going to be in a different way since I learned these lessons. Get out of that state there. Like, honestly, you're not going to be able to, um, to bring in the next phase of your cycle if you're in this state. Do things that you probably have told yourself, I'm not doing that. The energy supports it. You know, it's not always good to take chances. It's not always good to be impulsive and just do whatever, because that can turn into a whole bunch of other things. You know, don't be careless. Don't do things unprepared. You know, just uh, trust. Staying in this state is not helping you. Ah. <laughs> I'm telling you, as you start moving forward, things get better. We got the six of staves. You got a lot of staves here. Action. Movement. Movement is really. Because even with the two full cards and then all these staves, it's like move, moving forward. Moving forward. To get that victory, look at you being celebrated, being held up high because you got over it. Some of you, literally, you just need to get over it. it, it it's, it's really that simple. If you can't get over it, you're going to stay stuck. All right, and look what you're passing up. Ten of Cups, that beautiful, happy ending. So this is for those of you who are taking that leap of faith. I'm going to keep going. And yeah, things will get better. I see uh, a lot happening going forward. As you move forward, as you, whoever can get to this point, whoever can get to this point where you appreciate the lessons, put those down, let the past be the past and move forward. Whoever can get that. Number one, you complete the cycle successfully. You have the world here. The world is the last major arcana, right? Before you move into a new new cycle. 
with the full energy, first, last. So this shows a full completion of a cycle. Some of you, you are going to be right here stuck because you can't get out of that. It keeps bringing you back to just, um, hmm, this, this is like, you need to do some type of cleansing, some type of meditation. Um, you need to really clear yourself from those things. This is really something that keeps pulling you back. I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking bad memories, some of you. There's memories that you're holding on to. It uh, keeps putting you back in this state. Look at this. Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who starts building from what they learn. Self-sufficient. This one here is going to make lemon out of lemonades. Or lemonades out of lemon, excuse me. Uh, this one knows how to basically fix what was broken. And then once you fix it, make something useful out of it. Okay, that's where... Uh, that's where you're being led. Start using those lessons. Okay. All right. Get to moving. Get to moving. So much staves. Eight of staves here. Action. I just get action, action, action. Time to go. Time to do. Time to be. It's so boring to sit around feeling sorry for yourself. When there's so much opportunity around you, Gemini, okay? I'm telling you, let the old, let it die. Go through the transformation. Be the new you. Many of you, you may just be fighting this. I don't know if this is something you're used to. Uh... You know, for those of you who can resonate here. Hmm. Time to move forward here. It's time to keep it moving. Your strong will determination will get you going. Okay, guys, you have to remain in that state where you are determined to reach a certain goal and you move forward. That's where your success lies as you continue to move forward. Action. I keep getting action, movement. Some of you, you're being called to move to a whole different location. I'm getting a lot of movement here. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Follow your intuition, but most importantly, pay attention to how you feel. Okay, for some of you, this could be concerning a love situation here. Somebody's showing up. Queen of Cups. Uh-huh. Stop fighting this. So this is about loving yourself. And for those of you who, if it, if it is concerning a person, loving yourself before you can find that love. Taking care of yourself. Stop fighting this. This is about learning from the situation. Some of you, you may not have learned. I feel like there's more. Anything else? You got to go through that transformation to keep, keep moving forward. We got the Eight of Staves and Death here. Death is here again. Some of you could be dealing with Scorpio energy. And then we got Eight of Wands, which is the same as the eight. action movement to get you going in the right direction. And I see fast change. Once you make that decision to move on, you're going to get fast change. Okay. And that's clarifying the Queen of Cups here. So y'all are going to have to understand there was actually some kind of happy ending waiting for you. This sadness is holding y'all back. Someone's, uh, okay, that was fast. Yep. It's here. Sadness. Five of Cups. Half of the Ten of Cups. Some of you, you stay stuck right here in the middle of the of the spread. Five. Half of this. You're halfway there. 
but you're stuck in this energy that needs to be healed. In the extended, I'm going to see um, what energy will help you heal that. Okay, let me pull a card to see what energy we'll focus on in the extended. We got, wow, a few cards, they all fell and they all fell in reverse. Love. Loving yourself. Some of you guys, you're concerned with loving someone else. No, love yourself. It's in reverse. And then it says, discover your life's purpose in reverse. Some of you are not even realizing that the whole reason you're going through this is to get on your life path. You're on something else. Discovering your life purpose, loving yourself. That's going to help you get over that. Oh, man, inner child. These are things that are actually the issue but you're not seeing it. It's in reverse. Heal those inner child issues, guys. This is what we're going to focus on in the extended. And then it's self-sabotage. My goodness. You may not realize this. Some of you guys, uh, what you're doing, even if uh, it may be dressed up in a way, that you think it's best for you, it's self-sabotage here. Staying stuck. Not trying things in a different way. All right, so we're going to focus on that. And the extended, see how we can help you get over this. There's other things as the issue. You might think that it's a person, but it's really other things that are deeply deeply rooted and they need to be uprooted so that they can be released and let go and it can go through its death and you can get over this okay um i mean there's some mourning here there's some sadness i don't know some of you could have dealt from childhood with the you know the death of someone you loved and not having that person in your life has changed who you've uh, grown up to be. So we'll get into that in the extended here. I'm going to leave it there. Guys, I really hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Action is needed. You need to be doing something. Oh, baby. All right, many of you, you're here. You have, your purpose is to teach. High priestess, there's a lot of knowledge stored within you. You have to be in touch with your intuition here. Many of you are spiritual teachers. That's why you're here. Time to take action. And close this cycle out. My goodness.